Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we can connect Azure DevOps repo with Azure Data Factory and how we can leverage source control system in Azure Data Factory. What are the different options we have to for connectivity purpose? And what are the different settings? Let's go to Azure portal for this demo. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal in our subscription and resource group. So for integration with Azure DevOps Git, uh, we have an existing ADF. We will see first how to integrate with Git if you have ADF already created. And then we will see when you are creating an ADF new, how we, you can use the option to integrate at the creation time. So let's launch Studio. And when we launch, uh, we have given in the very first page, home page, an option that you can set up your code repository. Why? Because when you create without repository, you have very less option to save in other things. If we go into our author tab and if it create any new pipeline, you do not have any options to save. You have only options to publish, but you can't do publish because it will say that you have to have one activity. If you suppose you want to put some activity and put that one, then also you can't do because source and sync you have to connect and all this validation you have to do before you jump into that uh, publish and you do publish everything, right? So that we do not have any options. So let me cancel that one and let's go to home page and let's set up the code repository, right? And if we want to set up the code repository, we have to select that our repository type. So right now we have, uh, we want to connect with Azure DevOps Git. So let's select that. And frost tenant means if your this ADF is into different uh, Azure directory tenant, then your uh, repo where repo is connected, then you can use that code tenant. I have different tenants slot together. Right now my default is F4. And if we go into my Azure DevOps, where my organization is connected, if I go into organization setting and I see the Azure Active Directory that is connected to tenant ID in the same scenario. So this is not cross tenant scenario. This is the same scenario, scenario we are doing. So let me click continue. Now it will go ahead and fetch all this. We can do the repository link also. We can provide the link from if we go into our project. Let me go into project demo is our project and in the project we have a repo in repo. This is that one. So we can connect using our this uh, link, which is used for cloning purpose, or we can go and provide the details like we can select using select repository and then it will give the project name from which project we have, how many repository we have, we have. So we have two repository. Then it asks few more details and we can provide the details and what will be the details for that. If we see a little bit documentation, then we will see that collaboration branch is generally by default is main from where we will do publishing uh, and the publish branch where our publish related ARM template and other is there. In this, this is just uh, your best uh, practice, but you can do by your own also. So let me go ahead and put the collaboration as main branch and publish branch. I am going to keep this ADF publish itself and root folder as that one. And also import resources into this branch. So I'm going to do that same. And let me apply this. Now our repository setting has been successfully updated. And if we refresh that one, that message will go from top. Right. If we go into our manage section and if we go into now it is saying that we select set the working branch. So right now we can't can't work into main branch, right? Main branch is the for publishing another thing. So we should create a new branch and new branch. I am going to create a user branch. And if I go back into our repository, if I go to my branches, I do not have any other branch right now. I can create from here also. Let me try to create one from here first. ADF1, let me put the name as ADF1 and let me go back. And if I go ahead, use existing, then right now it is not coming. Let me cancel that one. Let me refresh that one because I just created over there. So. If I go in existing one, 
now it is coming adf1 i can create a branch from here also so if i go and create new then i can go ahead and say same thing whatever branch i want to use for my development purpose i can connect that one here also if we see our main branch adf2 branch is connected adf1 branch we have published branch which we given that this will be published branch and we can have new branch if we create any pull request then it will redirect from that branch to that one. there is no change right now because we have not created anything so this is place where we can go and if we want to switch in live mode we don't want to use this one we can switch it from live mode also right so if we also go to publish mode because it says that git is enabled a data factory is disabled publishing data factory is disabled if you want to uh, remove this settings and enablement you can go to git configuration and disconnect that and that's how you can go ahead and say that i want to disable my this repo and you can disconnect this is one option also you can have now if we have not connected with um, from here now it is coming setup repository this option we can do from here also we can go and similar thing we can select same option will come and we can select all this default go back one more time above name we can do project name demos we can do and we can select our name collaboration name we, we were giving the main all this is good we can do main apply okay now once again it is connected we have whatever um, uh, working branch we want to select we can select that working branch we can go ahead let's see one more time here let me go ahead and create one pipeline and once we create the pipeline let me try to give one pipeline name adf demo with azure dev ops right this is that our pipeline if i go into my branch right now adf1 uh, there is published configuration there is folder all this created factory and other things but right now if we go into main main will have little bit more details so right now all this have details let me go ahead with just i created so right now now i have options to save if i save it here let's see what happens and my connected is adf2 let's go back to our adf2 branch and just now we have updated so if we go back we can see the details that we have just all the details synced by adf itself here and if we go into pipeline we can see all the details right now if you see wait one activity is our name if we change anything into this uh, place also right let me save this one commit from azure devops and if we go into adf right now let's refresh this adf and let's go to pipeline let's select the activity name has changed so it works vice versa from here to there and if you change there also in other places also if you are doing some activity in vs code or anything then it will change it here also so and right now if you see publish is disabled and if you want to test that one because you cannot trigger right now because there is no pipeline you have to debug you test your pipeline and other activity using debug and we have made in video how to use debug for different activity we can go ahead and check that so debug will go ahead and run that activities uh, we can test all the activity when we want to publish this one then we can change the main branch and then publish will be enabled and we can publish that using main branch so right now and clicking the publish nothing is happening because before that one let's see that we have some pipeline which want to publish right so we can create the pull request and let's push that to our master main branch let's see is PR and whatever goodness comes with uh, devops we can implement all the reviewer linking and all the best practices right now we have not set up in my git rep, uh, azure devops repo so i am just completing this pr to main and now main will have that option so if i go let me complete this pr let's it will yeah completed so it will go to main and in pipeline we have this pipeline with wait to activity let me go back to the setting and now let me change to main branch 
now main branch has this one i can go ahead and publish my changes to adf this is new one this was not published so let me publish this to data factory integration runtime that studio itself so it is publishing publish is completed now we can have trigger now i can do publish uh, mat trigger it will run everything it's generating and saving everything into git template so go in detail and it is running the pipeline so we can go and see the pipeline so that is how azure devops works with the data factory and how we can connect with that one this was when we have been uh, already data factory created now let's go ahead into this demo and let's create one more adf and while creation we can integrate with so let's create data factory let me go one okay so let's go to git configure git later i want to configure right now here also same option repository type i want to give whatever name is there so let me go and my name for this organization is right project name i have project name demos right project name demos and go ahead and give the details i want to use main branch oh, sorry repository name i have to give so let me grab that repository name from here which repository name uh, let me give the demos or what let me give the surface demos only surface demo okay and then go back here when i will creating okay and main branch let's go ahead and all this setting we have seen in other videos so i will go ahead and try to create now now our resource has been created let's go and launch the studio now if we see home page does not gives that pop-up an option and if we go it asks that setting up that branch we can set any branch for working or we can create and if we go to git configuration we see all the settings is already done we can go and read the best practices while doing this uh, ci cd that is also we can read but basically that is that how we can connect our azure devops git repo with azure data factory and that is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you